Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're here today to show you a couple of tricks of the trade in regards to uh, bleaching out or getting your final European mount product. Okay, European mount, you know, is probably the more common term used for basically removing all the meat from a skull of your trophy, whatever it might be. Uh, get it to a level where you could, you know, mount it on a plaque, or whatever, and put it on the wall. Okay, sure, you can go down the tax term and pay them a couple hundred dollars per trophy, per head, but the question is, is how can you minimize the cost? How can you reduce the time? Right, the old traditional way of bleaching out or boiling out a head is just plain tap water, bring it to a boil, and wasting a, a gallon, if not more, of propane and take a better part of the day. What I'm going to show you all is how to boil out a skull, get all the meat off, um, you know, nothing that's tedious, you know, trying to pick it, you know, the meat every half hour, an hour with a fork, trying to get it off. I'm going to show you how to bleach out or boil out a, a skull, get all the meat off in 30 minutes, okay? Um, it's no secret. It's out there, but just a lot of guys don't know about it, and that's why you're sitting here watching this because obviously you want to find out how to boil out a skull. You don't want to pay $200, $250 at a taxidermist to uh, get your European mount, especially if you have two or three heads, it just doesn't make sense. So the first step is remove the hide. And you're obviously you're not trying to do uh, a, you know, a detailed perfect job to where you're gonna try to tan the hide or, uh, you know, or mount the animal, but just remove the hide. Um, if you leave some on, you know, it's irrelevant, but remove most of it. All right, preparation for uh, preparation for the white magic. The whole key to uh, utilizing the white magic on your skull <clears throat> is to have a, a cool boil. If there's such a thing, not some out of control aggressive boil. So you got to bring your heat down, and uh, and obviously when you submerge a skull into the water, the water has to be the right level because you don't want it looking like Niagara Falls. The secret is in this plastic baggie right here. You do. you do about a quarter cup for every gallon of water. I'm assuming this is a five gallon bucket. Uh, so what, a cup, a cup and a quarter of this white magic is what I'm gonna call it, but it's more common known as sodium carbonate, right? We've already put a bunch in here. We've already put about a cup in here. In 30 minutes, all the meat on the skull, which we just, peeled the hide back, should be at the bottom of the bucket. And you see right here, we did these last week, uh, and these were all 30 minutes. If you do it too long, yes, your nose may get loosened up, you may have to pull out some super glue, but if you do it 20, 30 minutes, like I said, you can pull them out, let them dry, and they basically look like this. We, typically, we usually shove about two or three heads in this five gallon, so-called five gallon bucket. Uh, so something you might not want to do which we did, which it ain't that big a deal, is put too much of this white magic into the water because, you know, kind of like you're uh, boiling your spaghetti at home on the stove, too much water, uh, too much heat, and it goes over the side. Anyway, 30 minutes, we're finished. This is part two of getting the final product of your do-it-yourself European mount. All this is a bleaching agent. We're gonna take about half this bag and then we're gonna start uh, mixing it with this hydrogen peroxide until we get like basically a, a mace about as consistent to, you know, comparable to like mayonnaise. Alright, step two of, of part two. If you passed your uh, second grade art class, you shouldn't have any difficulties and doing this. But all we're doing is applying this bleaching agent. We're going to paste it on these skulls and let it sit for 24 hours. And you can see we knocked out five skulls. 
so you can see this bleaching agent goes a long way uh, and we're just lightly coating uh, the skull all over. Try not to touch the teeth, trying to keep a, the natural tooth wear of the teeth. We let it sit for 24 hours and we're just coming back dusting it. Uh, as you can see it doesn't take much to It's a little bit easier getting a smaller uh, brush, smaller head brush, and getting into these eye orbitals um, to get, flake off the rest of this, this bleaching agent you put in here. Now all I'm doing is coming back with a clear uh, acrylic, and that's it. And all we want to do is just kind of put a gloss type uh, appearance on the skull, and that's all we're doing. If you want to hit the horns and give them a shine, you know, feel free, do whatever you want to do to spot it up. I like just personally hitting the skull and I'm done with it. It's fun, it's rewarding, and it saves you a ton of money, especially when you do multiple heads. There you have it.